that, man? This is a blueberry bagel. A blue waffle? <laughs> So we are eating pre-workout meal. It's my high carb day. I'm eating uh, like around a thousand grams of carbs a day. So it's just solid food that's like really easy to get down. Fig Newtons are packed with carbs. Uh, they're fat, you know, essentially fat-free, and those ones actually are fat-free because they have the fat-free ones. Same with the bagels and stuff. You know, just just a lot of fat, or I mean, a lot of carbs. Uh, you know, high carb day, like I said. So we'll eat up and then we'll head to the gym. What is it? For my gallon. So it doesn't fly all around. Oh yeah. My gym bag. So my gym bag doesn't fly all around. That's 100% customized, <laughs> bro.
So the question, we're gonna answer one Q&A this week. Uh, question from my Snapchat, which is uh, at Cody underscore Montgomery. Let's turn on this music. Um, the question is, how do you deal with muscle soreness, either from leg workout or back workout? How do you combat it? Things like that. Um, you know, first and foremost, I'll always say stick to the basics. You know, I always hit glutamine, some EAAs, uh, some BCAAs, uh, you know, with the resurgence, with the EAAs, the glutamine from Prime. All those products are really good to take afterwards. Uh, obviously with the new formula, or the uh, uh, formula 19, that's gonna be like the game changer. And that's honestly how you're gonna get over a lot of these intense workouts uh, that you see me doing, see PJ doing, see Aaron Clark doing, you know, we're all gonna be taking that product. Uh, Post-workout is really gonna help with recovery. Uh, you know, two different forms of glutamine. It's got your leucine in there. It's got everything you need. You got some carbs uh, from different sources, everything like that. Um, but I also, I use a, a little stim patch um, stimulator that, uh, to help uh, recovery as well. You know, obviously now with this basically being, um, you know, 20, I mean, it's always been a 24 hour job to me, but really being my job now, uh, you know, trying to get ready for my first pro show. Um, I'm doing everything I can. Um, so if I, you know, if uh, you, you, you know, using a, a stim machine, uh, you know, which has little patches that you, you know, puts the vibrate. I don't, I don't actually know too, too much about it. I'm starting to learn, so I'll know in the future episodes. But uh, if it only makes me 5% better and it makes me a little bit less sore, then it's worth it to me uh, at this point. Um, so that's another way that I combat it. You know, I'll do a lot of ice, uh, heat pad. Heat pad's a good way, especially during prep when I'm doing a lot of stairs and things like that. I'll do heat pad on my legs with some ice, you know, go back and, uh, between the two, do an ice bath, stuff like that. Um, you can, you know, you can research ways as well. Um, there's tons of, tons of ways to help uh, your recovery, you know, through supplementation, through, um, you know, practices like the heating pad, um, you know, cooling down the muscle, uh, you know, with ice, obviously, or, or what have you. But, uh, but yeah, those are a few of the ways that I personally combat soreness. Uh, you know, to me, I actually, it's something that I enjoy. Um, you know, got to be a little bit weird in the head. You know, if I wake up and my legs almost collapse from being so sore, that's a good thing. So I'm happy. Um, not the average person might not be, but uh, so go train hard and use those tips. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the workout. You know, uh, we're gonna, you know, do some different aspects with this series. You know, it's gonna be uh, Project Rookie. The the idea behind it is, um, you know, it's gonna be, you know, either six months to a year kind of thing leading up to my my first show, um, which I haven't picked out yet. You know, when I do pick on a show, you guys will be the first to know. Um, you know, everything like that. You know, pretty much. Um, you know, what's gonna take from you know, winning the USA to actually becoming a contender in the IFBB. Um, and you know, with with the people I have in my corner, I'm not gonna say that I'm uh, overly confident that, you know, I can go win my first pro show or anything like that. I just think I can bring a much better package than, than what I brought to USA, which, you know, anybody that knows me, anybody that meets me out on the road, um, knows that I preach that this is individual sport as far as you're competing against yourself. So as long as I beat my USA showing, I'm, I'm happy. Um, obviously very excited um, to be a part of the IFBB and to have a privilege to step on stage against people that I grew up, you know, idolizing and uh, still idolize to this day. Um, so it's gonna be very, uh, very motivating year, very interesting year. And, you know, I'll be, you know, sharing all my experiences, all the life changes um, that come along with turning pro and uh, everything that that entails. So until the next uh, episode, this is Cody Montgomery and Blackstone Labs.